Okay, this is a bested Kathmandu. Uh, it's not made by Kathmandu, the retailers. This is just the Kathmandu boot. Okay, so uh, we used to bring this in about uh, seven years ago in this colour, but then they changed it to blue. So we decided that wouldn't be very good for you know, customers, which are mainly men. And uh, so we just stuck with the breed on pro and now they've gone back to this colour so we jumped at it let's start at the sole here so we're looking at a Vibram 4 sole so we've been bringing this in for over 10 years now and uh, it's the most reliable durable it's a good all round tread I mean you can play around with these and uh, not get too much difference in you know the style of the lugs and everything like that um, I mean, you know, if, if you play rugby or soccer, you know that sprigs are good for sticking into soil, and these are kind of like sprigs, right? So, uh, it cuts into soil, that's what we want. And uh, the durability of the tread is also another factor. It's longevity is the other thing we like to have in our boots. And uh, that's Bested's sort of forte there is durability. So it has uh, the EVA midsole, of course, and a full... 360 degree rubber rand which is 2 mil thick so that's the stop abrasion and cut protection for the leather now back to the leather this is Pearwanger leather it is uh, made in Switzerland it looks like suede now some people may think that that's not good however that would be incorrect because this is excellent leather it is less likely to crack out of all the other types um, Perhaps it's because the inner surface is less likely to start to crack than the top. This is probably the reason. Okay, so the alloy loops here, nice and light, simple to use. They pull through very easy, nice and smooth function. Lace locker here for adjusting the laces to suit. A nice little metal loops here, hooks. Um, if they bend over, get snagged on some wire or something like that, well, they can just be bent over, so they don't, they're not the type that will snap. Now, this is a Cordura type fabric here, nice and flexible. Uh, as far as durability concerned, uh, here, here is Cordura in a Tessiv pack, it's about six inches or something like that. All day long, you know, no damage. Got the picture. Let's put that one to rest. This is durable. Okay, inside here, also durable. This is a nice uh, soft fabric that best to have in the top of their boots around the cuff, inside cuff here. Nice and comfortable, helps with wicking, and it is more durable than the Cambrill that a lot of other manufacturers use. So rest assured, once again, durability, reliability. Okay, now also Gore-Tex, okay, now all the top manufacturers like to stick with the Gore-Tex, it's a good brand, it's, uh, they keep on developing, and this is a four layer type with a PFT uh, inner membrane, now that membrane, if you chuck it in the dump, it'll still be there for a million years, so the PFTE uh, arguably has better durability because of that factor. Now, of course, the bested insole, this is common in all their boots except for the Serac. So it has these channels and gaps here, and it's spongy too. I don't know if you can notice, but it's, it's, you can compress it and it goes back to its original shape. And that helps with pumping when you're walking. So any moisture in the bottom of the boot gets pumped around and helps to dry out the boot a bit faster and it circulates air on the inside. Now they're a light boot, this bested brand, so they have a composite shank through the uh, bottom of the sole here and that is to make the boot rigid or soft or semi-rigid as this one is to suit their customers requirements. Um, now it's uh, because it's a composite shank it's a little bit lighter for its rigidity than a nylon one and that's how they save a bit of weight in it along with the EVA midsole. EVA is softer than uh, PU. Uh, it's 
no, it's it's a little bit harder than PE, but um, it's not as it's not spongy like polyurethane, which is in practically all the other brands. And uh, we like them. So good, reliable boot. Um, it's already got a track record in, in New Zealand, so it's proven here already. So no worries about that one. Um, yeah, we'll be leaning towards this one.